Have you ever wondered what it really takes to be a millionaire? According to Forbes, over 675,000 people in the US alone became millionaires in 2018. And in 2020, with the recent market drop and recovery, many more were added to the list. But what does it actually take to become a millionaire? Well, in this video, we're talking about Grant Cardone's Millionaire Booklet, where he breaks down the process of becoming a millionaire in eight simple yet practical steps. If you like videos about business money and psychology, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to not miss any overvalue packed videos. And let's get started. Number one, the millionaire mindset. Cardone explains that the first step to become a millionaire is to make a decision to be one. It is difficult, if not impossible, to hit a target if you don't have one. So before applying any strategy, we must have a goal, a target to go after. This must be more than a simple decision. This must be a commitment to yourself and for those around you, because chances are you're not doing this just for yourself. Cardone explains that we must understand what mindsets are holding us back from achieving our goals. Most of us were taught as kids that money wasn't important, or somehow rich people were evil, or it was unethical to make a lot of money. Many of us were taught to be satisfied with what we have and to only make as much as we needed, that there's no reason to want more. Many of us grew up with mentalities that later became natural behaviors or even beliefs. See, many people feel like selling is bad or unethical, while many wealthy people came to believe that not selling is unethical because you rob the world of your ideas that can potentially change someone's life. Our beliefs about money lead to our behaviors with money, which leads to our results. So it is important to start with the foundation. So question. What mentalities did you grow up with that might be holding you back from achieving your financial goals? Let me know in the comments. Number two, millionaire math. It is easier to achieve any goal when we can see the steps we need to take. You know what they say, seeing is believing. And we can see how $1 million are made by doing our millionaire math and learning just what it takes to make a million dollars. Think about this, if you make $50,000 per year, it'll take you 20 years to make $1 million. If you make $100,000 per year, you will make a million in 10 years. If you make $250,000 a year, you will make it in 4 years and if you make $500,000 a year, it'll take you 2 years to get there. Now let's say that you're an entrepreneur and you have a product to sell. Well, if you make $100 by selling a product, you will have to sell 10,000 units of this product to make a million dollars. If you sell a product for $500, you will need to sell 2,000 units of this product to make the million dollars. But if you sell a product for $1,000, you will have to sell only 1,000 units of this product to make the million. A $2,000 product, 500 units. $5,000 product, 200 units. A $10,000 product, only 100 units will get you to the million dollars. But let's say you have a subscription service. If you have a subscription that costs $10 per month, you will need 8,334 members to make $1 million per year. If the subscription costs $50 per month, you will need 1,667 members paying you $50 per month to make the million dollar year. What about $100 per month? You would only need 834 members to make the $1 million in a year. And only 300 people would have to pay you $278 per month to make $1 million per year. See, your goal is to find what you will offer, the price point you will sell this for, and aim to gather the amount of people needed to make your $1 million. Number three, increase your income. Cardone says that the foundation of true and sustainable wealth is not saving, is not investing, is to first increase your income. By working on increasing our income, aside from money, we have two main benefits. First, we learn the skills needed to make money, which come in handy when we are presented with new opportunities. And second, we develop a sense of belief that we actually have what it takes to make money. It creates confidence. Cardone recommends to start by increasing the income that you already have. If you are a salesperson, you gotta sell more. If you are a personal trainer, you got to train more people. If you are already maxed out with your current income, then you can start other sources that are related to your current income. For example, if you're a fitness trainer, starting a YouTube channel and selling supplements might be a good idea. It allows you to increase your income without doubling or tripling your working hours because they complement your original income. 
Cardone says to be careful starting outside ventures when you are just starting out. The first goal is to increase your income, but if a new venture distracts you from your original source of income, you might risk losing it, ending up back on square one or worst with a smaller income. The mission is to make more than we did the month before and continue to work on beating the previous months. So question, what will you do to increase your income this month? Let me know in the comments. You might even get great ideas from the amazing community here. Number 4. Who's got my money? Once you've decided what you will sell, your price point, and how many people do you need to make your first million, like we calculated in step 2, it is time to figure out who's got your money. See, your million is already out there, but you must find out who has it. This is one of Cardone's most popular catchphrases, who's got my money? Because money doesn't just appear, someone out there already has it, and it's your job to go and find it. This is why understanding who your ideal customer is, is incredibly important, because they have your money. Once you find out who's got your money, it is your job to focus on talking to them and only them so you can get your money. Number 5. Stay Broke As your income grows, it is very easy to also raise your expenses. If you went from $50,000 per year to $120,000 per year, you will be able to afford a slightly nicer house or a new car or maybe an extra vacation or two. But as Cardone says, this will not make you wealthy. Matching your income with your expenses will zero you out and keep you at the starting point. This is why Cardone says stay broke. When Cardone was earning more money, he kept his lifestyle the same and moved his surplus money into what he called his sacred accounts. You know what they say, it's not about how much you make, but how much you keep. This allowed Cardone to actually build his wealth. Number 6. Save only to invest most people save money to buy a house, go on a vacation, or for a rainy day. Cardone does not believe in saving money for any reason other than to invest and multiply his money. Now, Cardone is quite careful and aware of the risks that come with investing. This is why increasing your income was the foundation of building wealth. Once your main sources of income are dependable and consistent, you saved money, and you are confident about your investment, then it's time to invest. Investing before our main source of income is dependable and consistent can have a few bad consequences, like having to sell off an asset in order to survive a bad time or losing assets in a recession. Number 7. Multiple Flows of Income The purpose of investing is to create multiple sources of income flowing to your bank account. Having multiple sources of income is the holy grail of financial independence. This allows you to create more financial safety since you no longer depend on one source of income. Cardone says to do everything you can to not walk away from a source of income no matter how small it is, unless you absolutely have to. The goal of an entrepreneur or investor is to collect as many sources of income as possible, especially if they are parallel or supportive of their existing flows of income. As Cardone says, nothing gives you more confidence than having multiple streams of income. Number 8. Repeat, Reinforce, and Hyperfocus Repeat this process as many times as you can, from the very beginning. A millionaire mentality is different from a $10 million mentality or a $100 million mentality. Focus on continuously educating yourself to remove your mental anchors, even at the 7 figures. Continue learning and improving yourself, and as Cardone says, get used to people criticizing you and your change. As he says, they do this because you now threaten their status quo. But as many people fall off your environment, new people will be added, those who can handle your new high standards. So, in order to become a millionaire, according to Grant Cardone's Millionaire Booklet, you must focus on getting a millionaire mindset, do your millionaire math, increase your income, learn who has your money, and go get it. Stay broke until you can save and invest, and continue to create multiple flows of income all while continuing your self-education to become the best version of yourself, even if small-minded people don't like it. And that was my summary of Grant Cardone's book, The Millionaire Booklet, one of my favorite books about money because of its simplicity and practicality.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And let me know in the comments what was one idea from this video that resonated with you the most. I am always in the comment section and I will love to see what you have to say. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.